नमस्ते वेलकम टू ब्रिशोन कॉन्सेप्ट टीचिंग लेट्स डू द कंस्ट्रक्शन यूजिंग रूलर एंड कंपास ओनली कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल ए बी सी सच दैट बी सी इज इक्वल टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर ए बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड एंगल ए बी सी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री बी सी इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड एंगल ए बी सी एंगल बी इज वन ट्वेंटी डिग्री देन ए बी इज सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर विथ दिस मेजरमेंट we have to construct a triangle okay let's start the construction bc is 5 cm measure 5 cm using the ruler bc is 5 cm angle b is 120 degree to construct 120 degree take the compass of any measurement of your choice keep the compass at the point b and draw an arc like this now without changing the measurement of the compass Keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. It measures sixty degree. Now, without changing the measurement of the compass, keep the compass at this point and cut an arc. Now, join this. It measures one twenty degree. you can verify this by using the protractor or else you can skip this see here it measures 120 degree ab is 6.5 cm measure 6.5 cm it measures 6.5 cm keep the compass at the point b and cut an arc produce this line the arc intersect at this point name this point as a ab is 6.5 cm join ac triangle abc is the required triangle Now let's come to the first part of the question. Construct a circumcircle to triangle ABC. We have to construct a circumcircle to the triangle ABC. We know that to construct a circumcircle to the triangle, we have to take the perpendicular bisector of any two sides. let me take the perpendicular bisector of bc to take the perpendicular bisector of bc we have to take more than half of bc it is more than half of bc right keep the compass at the point b draw an arc like this keep the compass at the point c and draw an arc these two arcs meet at these two points join this now let us take the perpendicular bisector of ab to take the perpendicular bisector of ab take more than half of ab it is more than half of ab keep the compass at the point b and draw an arc
Keep the compass at the point A and draw an arc. These two arcs meet at these two points. Join this. Now we have to draw a circumcircle to the triangle. To do this, let us produce these two perpendicular bisectors. These two perpendicular bisectors, they meet at this point. Let us name this point as O. O is the circumcenter of the circumcircle. Taking OA as radius, draw a circle. We have constructed a circumcircle to the triangle ABC. Now, Let's come to the second part of the question. Construct a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD such that D is equidistant from AB and BC. According to the question, we have to construct a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. Already, we have constructed a circumcircle and we have to construct a cyclic quadrilateral a, B, C, D such that D is equidistant from A, B and B, C. A, B and B, C. To do this, we have to take the angle bisector of triangle A, B, C. Okay. Then, we have to mark a point D on the circumcircle and we have to join this. So that we can construct a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. You can see that from here to this point, it measures 120 degree, isn't it? So, let us do the angle bisector of this. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc. Keep the compass at this point and draw an arc. These two arc, they meet at this point. Join this. Now, produce this line. This angle bisector meet the circumcircle at this point. Let us name this point as D. Okay. Now, D is equidistant from AB and BC. Now, join AD and CD. ABCD is the required cyclic quadrilateral. Hope you have understood. Thank you.